Alright. First foremost, I must say all honor and praises be unto yeah, Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Double honors unto your apostles and elders of great millstone and shalom. To the sincere Akimat, they're teaching the truth is sincere. It's the brother Shakal from the GMS uh London camp and I basically wanted to speak on um first few um verbal verses in um the second is just uh chapter thirteen because I believe a probably a couple of weeks ago I asked a question and I finally got around to doing a video on it. And basically you know um if you've seen films like War of the um Worlds you know, um, um, Independence Day, and things as, as as such, man. What this second Ezra thirteen is speaking about is the the return of of of, 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 of the um Lord in um he, he, he falls, man, which in the scriptures is referred to uh, as the chariots of Israel. Or a cloud or a mountain. In fact, I actually, um, so one just, um, you know, this evening after work, you know, I actually saw a chariot. As soon as I came out of work, I came out of the, um, the building, I saw a chariot, man. So now we're going to basically, uh, read, um, what it means, man. You know, uh, so this is, um, Second Ezra 13 and 1 And it came to pass after seven days I dreamed a dream by night And lo, there, the, there arose a wind from the sea That it, it, it removed all the waves thereof And, and I beloved, and, and, and I beheld, lo That man was strong with the thousands of heaven and, he ret and, and when he returned his countenance to look, all things that trembled were seen under him. That man who is talking about is who people ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Because when he returns upon this earth, man, he's coming back in what people ignorantly call UFOs, man. Right? And he's come to conquer upon part upon this earth and to save his elect right so this is revelation 1 and 7 it says behold he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him and 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 and, and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him even so are mine now in terms of if you don't know what a, <laughs> a cloud is this is psalms um 104. This is Psalms 104, right? And I believe the the, the the third verse, right? It says, "Who?" It says, "Who layeth the beams of the of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot?" So the clouds and the chariots are are, are the exact same thing. Now when um. Um, when um, Elijah got taken up uh, unto heaven, Elisha um, said, "My father, my father, the chariots of Israel." So he saw a man got taken up into heaven by a, a beam of light, man. And what do you say, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel? So men. Back then, you use certain words to describe things. Is actually sure. Chariots back then existed. Chariots then was what a form of transport. So he used that as an example. He ain't gonna say that's a UFO, or that's a tractor beam, or that's a ship. Those are the windows, and this is a this this that. He ain't gonna say, oh yeah, um, it, it's a it's a spaceship. Yeah, that's that's a spaceship right there. Yeah. No. And and, and and basically what second Ezra's third thirteen is is about is about the return of the Lord, man. You know. This is uh 
axe. Number one and um and nine quickly because the um, scripture clearly describes the return of the um, Lord and how He's coming back. This is Acts chapter up to the one and nine and 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 uh, and, and nine. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud a chariot received him out of their sight through that beam of light. So when the um, Lord was um, speaking to his um, the disciples in Acts, man, a uh, uh, chariot he came over them and took him into heaven. Uh, and a cloud, a chariot received him, beamed him up out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in, in, in white apparel. Those two men were the angels, man, you know, of the Lord. Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye up gazing into heaven? The same the house shy which was taken up from you into heaven shall also come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. So the same way you saw him go into a ship, you know, a cloud, yeah, he's coming back that way. So so when they saw it happen, it was like this. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh shit. What the hell? Oh, you know? But then, but then so what they said, like, look, man, just chill. The same way you saw him go, he's, he's, he's coming back that way. And, and that's why Revelation 1 and 7 is basically a prophecy of him coming. That's why it says, All kindreds of the earth shall dwell because of him. That's why the second Ezra 13 is basically going to further give you a clearer picture. You know, this is a. Uh, um, back in Second Ezra thirteen and three, and I beheld, and lo, uh, yeah, yeah, and three, and I beheld, lo, that man who is who, Yahweh Shai, right strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him. And when soever the voice went out of his mouth. Now when it says well, the voice went out of his mouth, it's talking about the front of, of, of the chariot, man. Which will say. It says, and uh, when soever the voice went out of his mouth, all they that burned, that heard his voice, them, them beams, man, formed that chariot. Like as the earth faileth when he feeleth the um the fire. So when it says the mouth is the front of the chance, it's gonna give them beams, man. You know? And after this I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude out of, of, of men out of, of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the, the, the man that came out of the sea. Now when it says came out of of, of, of 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 of, of the, the BMC, it's it's talking about the, 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 the actual sky. Go when you go into the word um, for Mayan, you know, or, um, that the, the, that actually pertains also onto the um the, the heavens, man. You know, you know, you know, up there in the um, sky and so forth, which means. Mm -hmm waters in Hebrew so so that's what it's talking about he ain't talking about a child gonna come <laughs> from the actual sea it's talking about from the skies right you know from the, the, the heavens man and after this I beheld and lo there was gathered together a multitude of men out of, of number from the four winds of heaven now these men were who Starting off with the um, remaining armies of Esau and all other people and tongues who gone join to fight against the Lord when he um, comes 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 back. Now, so that there is what um, Revelation 12 is talking about. This is uh, Revelation 12 and 7. 
you know, and, and everything I'm I'm saying, I I've, I've been taught that by the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Man. Is um <laughs> Revelation twelve and seven, and it says, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels. Now the dragon <laughs> represents what the um Roman Empire that's back upon this earth now, which starts up which starts with them the um the um states. But that, but, but that whole dragon itself comes forth to make the kingdom of Esau, man. And it says, and and Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels. So the um, the um, Lord and his angels, right? Because Michael. Is the chief angel of of of, of the, 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 the Lord, uh, and as we know, the um, Lord will um, lead the um, charge. You know when he comes upon the earth, right? So the the, 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 the um, Lord and his ace uh, and his angels, Esau, and the remaining world. Armies who have the capability gonna come and fight against the actual Lord, man. But it says, and prevailed not. Neither was the place found anymore in heaven. That's right, because you know what's gonna take place. Well, when the, the um, aircrafts and, and fighter jets come and fight against the, the, the um, Lord. The, the, the angels of 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 of, of, of the um, Lord go and use them them beams, man, to to to, to slap them out of the, the sky, and it says, and that great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out. With him, so 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 when they come and fight, when the um the uh, the um, power structure of Esau uh, and anyone else who you, 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 you know comes forth and helps them, when they come against the the the, the, the damn Lord, they are gonna terribly lose, man. So let's go back to um the scripture. It says, and after this, this is uh, verse 4 and 2nd verse 13. And after this, I beheld the Lord, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of, of number from the four winds of heaven to, to subdue that man that came out of the sea. But I beheld the Lord, he graved himself a great mm, mountain and flew upon it. What is that talking about? The, 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 that's what we call the father ship, which is the, the big, gigantic UFO, what people call UFO, right? It says, but I would have seen the region or the place where out the hill was graven, and I could not mean it. He's basically saying, look, man, it's so big, he actually don't know where it starts and where it finishes. And after this, I beheld a law. All they which were gathered together to subdue, subdue him were so afraid, yet, but yet, that's right. So, these armies that come against the DM Lord, right, they will come and fight against him, but, but they're going to be scared. But guess what? The Lord is a man of war, and he's going to put the spirit upon him to fight. And lo, as I saw, and lo, as he saw the violence of multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held his sword, nor any instrument of war. But only as a sword that went out of his mouth, the front of the chariot, as it had been a blast of fire. That, that, that blast of fire is what? That beam of light. That laser beam. Zap, 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 zap. You know? And out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempest.
and they were all mixed together with the blast of fire, the black flaming breath, and a great tempest, and fell down with violets upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burn them up every one, so that upon a sudden innumerable multitude was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke and when I saw this he was afraid so what he's basically saying there man that the armies that come against the Lord they're gonna be totally burned up and destroyed man. right now this scripture also links up with what Revelation Revelation uh, 19 man no, this is uh, Revelation 19 and 11, right on down. It says, uh, Revelation 19 and 11, and it says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a, a white horse. And this isn't talking about a stallion, man. It says, uh, It's white, you know, you know. Uh, and it says a horse because a horse it, it, well, back then was a, a form of transport and 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 an actual sign of power and he's and, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he the judge and make war that that man who, who's known as faithful and true is who yeah 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 shy because he, 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 he was faithful unto the will of the, the lord and was true because he is the actual word man and in righteousness he does judge um, um, and make war his eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns so, so what does that mean Crown, uh, that means he gonna come and take take away the, uh, the, 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 the the authority from these kings of the earth because he's known as the conquering lion of the tribe of judah which is going to come and conquer he had a name written that no man knew but himself and we have that name because we as a church are a part of the body of Simon and he was called clothed in a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of God and the armies being the, 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 the angels of the am Lord, and it says, and the armies which were in, in, in heaven followed him upon white horses, then which people call what a UFO, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, and out of his mouth go a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the, 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 the nations. And, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he had, and and he had on his his vesture, and on his name written, King of Kings and Lords of Lords. You know, so basically, what Second Ezra said, thirteen is speaking about is what the return of the Lord in chariots, man. Uh, and with that, I'm going to end with um, Zechariah 5. This is um, Zechariah 5. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a, a flying roll. So he's saying, look, he just turned and stood in the sky, and he see a flying roll. You know, now, back then, these men didn't have planes or cars. Of course, of course not. So, 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 so he's saying he saw something flying in the sky, man. A flying uh, roll, which was shaped uh, like a scroll, man. You know, he ain't talking about bread roll, a bread roll. He's talking about a scroll, you know, roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, Hmm, I see a flying roll. Well, what's that talking about? A bat in the sky. No, he's talking about a, 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 what people call a UFO. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. Then says, said he unto me, this, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. 
everyone that stayed of it shall be cut off, cut, shall be cut off on this side according to it, and everyone that swears shall be cut off on that side according to it. And who is the main uh, th uh, thief? The children of Esau. So these these um chariots with the power of the Lord going to take down the uh, power structure and authority of Esau. And it says, right, I will bring it forth, save the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. Who, who, which, where is the actual house of the thief? The, 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 the actual main abode, the, uh, sorry, the uh, main, you know, uh, 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 power structure, according to the scriptures, is over there in the states, right? Which in the scriptures is known as Babylon, man. The the United States of America is Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures, man. And it shall enter into the house of the feet because it going it going invade his kingdom, man, right? And into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, and it shall remain in his house and it shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones to the thereof man so that's um so that's basically it man so with that I must say all honor and praises be unto you Abba Shemel Shai double honor unto the apostles of great most and with that I must say Shalom